hello everyone this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel in this video we are going to have a look at newly released alibaba's coins vision model i have been covering coins model for a long time now since the release of the first version of their first model their models have evolved a lot they have come a long way we already have covered the previous vision language model in Quen 2 and so I am very curious to see how this Quen 2.5 vision language model evolves. In this video we are going to install it locally and we will test it out on various benchmarks. Before I do that let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs, so do check them out. Before we show, see the installation, let's have a quick look at its architecture, which seems quite interesting. First and foremost, this vision model has focused more on useful vision language tasks which are applicable in the real world. It is not only proficient in recognizing common objects, but it is highly capable of analyzing texts, charts, icon, graphics and layouts within the images and I believe that is a real use case for vision models out there. It also directly plays as a visual agent that can reason and dynamically direct tools which is capable of computer use and even on the edge devices. We will be installing 7 billion but it also comes in the lower versions and lower flavors steps will be the same. All you need to do is to just change the model name that's about it. It can also accurately localize objects in an image by generating bounding boxes or points and it can provide stable JSON output for coordinates and attributes which is quite cool in my opinion. And then as long as you can support structured outputs of the content it means that it can be used easily in finance, commerce and related fields. If you look at this architecture they have extended dynamic resolution to the temporal dimension by adopting dynamic FPS sampling that enables the model to comprehend videos and images at various sampling rates. They have also used MROPE and they also used the MROPE in the previous Quen 2 uh, vision language model but in this one they have updated it in the time dimension with IDs and absolute time alignment that enables the model to learn temporal sequence and speed ultimately acquire the ability to pinpoint specific moments. So that was a quick intro of the model. Let's try to get it installed and then we will see how it works. And for that, let me also thank our very good friends at iGent Bot. iGent Bot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support. And I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Let's try to get it installed. This is my VM Ubuntu and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let's quickly create a virtual environment with Conda. And now let's create and install CUDA. And now let's install all the prerequisites which include Torch, Torch Vision and if you look at the end there is also Quen VL Utils with Decode which is required by this Quen's vision language model. Now it is not mandatory but I would highly suggest and recommend that you install flash attention especially if your um, GPU supports it. If you are using any hopper or ampere generation of GPU from NVIDIA, flash attention should be supported. It is not mandatory but if you can I would highly suggest that you install it. And now let me launch my Jupyter Notebook and then we will play with this model. And now let's download the model. I'm just going to go with transformers from Hugging Face and the model is being downloaded and you can see that I'm going to go with this 7 billion one. If you don't have flash attention just remove this line and if you have a lesser VRAM you can go with any other variant which is 3 billion I guess. If you have more you can go with 72 billion. So if you go here on the Hugging Face model card then you will see that this is a coin 2.5 VL and sorry let me go back so you see we have 3 billion we have 7 billion and we have 72 billion instruct one 
but i see uh, in my experience and that is just totally subjective that 7 billion is a sweet spot for vision models that is just my observation maybe totally it, it might change later down the road as the models are evolving and changing uh, by the day really here anyway so let's wait for this model to get downloaded there are five shards of it okay so the bottle is loaded let's try to do the inference for inference i'm just going to use the usual prompt templates we are passing it through processor we are encoding it through tokenizer model is generating the output with hyperparameters and then we are decoding it back with tokenizer and printing out the response for the prompting all i'm doing here i'm just going to ask it a simple question let me also put it here so first i'm grabbing this image from my local system and then i am asking it what is in the image for image i just um, got this sort of graffiti mural which was generated by ai so i'm going to ask it what is in the image so let's see how it performs let me run this and there you go model has given the response it is saying the image depicts a vibrant and colorful graffiti mural on a wall the artwork features a stylized cartoonish face with an exaggerated features such as large eyes a wide smile showing yellow teeth and a blue nose very nice very very nice background of mural is a dark which makes the bright colors of the face stand out so you see uh, when you are reading through these responses not only we have to focus on the fact that if it has got the uh, basic things of image right then how it is going with the details and then uh, if it is describing it well or not, uh, how is the language? This is what I have found out about this Quen 2.5 model, especially that they have improved a lot when it comes to language. The sheer quality of English language is really, really uh, sublime in the recent models of Quen 2.5. So, and you can see that their uh, vision, their uh, understanding of images is quite good too. Okay, let's try out one more. Okay, in the next test, I'm going to ask it uh, about this beautiful Minakshi temple in Madurai, India. I'm going to ask it what is the location in the image. And I'm going to run this and we will also see the VRAM consumption in real time. So it is consuming close to 18 gig of VRAM, which is not bad for a 7 billion model. That's impressive, I would say okay so let me display the image it says it's a minakshi Aman temple located in madurai tamil nadu india which is correct and then it is talking about the uh, some more information about that it is dedicated to hindu goddess minakshi and her consort lord uh, sundareswarar that's quite good actually very very fine answer and then it is also giving us giving uh, some more response very nice okay that's good stuff Okay, so in the next one, I'm going to do the OCR with Spanish language. So I have given it this image and I'm asking it extract the text from the image and identify the language too. So you see, it says the text in the image is Spanish. It reads SL Rio and Madrid. It looks good to me. If you're a Spanish speaker, please also confirm what do you think about it. And I always get fascinated with this inverted question mark. Really cool stuff okay very nice so looks good to me i would say even it has given us some of the slashes so that because it's the next line amazing okay let's try out maybe ocr with arabic and then we will try out few more so i'm going to just select an ocr for arabic one i have that image here and let's run it and then we will see if it identifies the language again if you're a native speaker of these languages please please help me out for the confirmation how the model is doing so you guys are always kind enough so thank you it says the text in the image is in arabic and this is the uh, looks good to me you see most of it maybe here it is this uh is not written properly so there are a few mistakes i can just see by looking at it but close enough not that but but please if you're an arabic speaker please please confirm Okay, let's try out Persian maybe. Because there are a couple of uh, viewers who always insist on Persian. So why not? So let's uh, let's run it and I'll just show you the image of Persian. 
this is a Persian one. So this is, uh, I think this is from Omar Khayyam Zurubai. And the, it, it has identified the language quite correctly. This is, I love, I'm loving it. And if I quickly look at it, you know, it looks quite good to me, quite good. Of course, you know, the that orientation of script is different. So that is why it is not printing it right. At, I don't have faults here. But please confirm, most of it is looks quite, quite impressive, I would say. And then I will just uh, do the Chinese one, of course. Let's also try it out. Quinn is always very good in Chinese OCR. So I'm hope uh, quite confident that this one is also going to throw it out of the park. But I would need your help too if you're a Chinese speaker. Yes, and look at the speed of it. Really cool stuff. Now the language is Chinese. And this is the image. If I look at this Hanzi script, this uh, looks quite good to me. And how beautiful this script is. This is amazing. Okay, now let's try it out, the English one. And one, I think I would say the side advantage or side fun of doing these sort of OCRs is that I have, you know, learned to more about these beautiful language across the globe. And every language has its own beautiful flavor. So now in this OCR image, what I'm doing here is not only English is there, alphanumeric characters, and some of the other languages. Now, here it has says that the languages represent, represented in the text are English, German, French, Italian, Spanish, Portuguese, that's yes, correct. And then, yes, so it is uh, the translation of famous a quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dogs and turns into multiple languages. If you are old enough and you have learned the typing on the typewriter, this is a, mainly the first lesson you get on cards anyway. So, or lang sign. Uh, and then, you know, looks quite good to me if I go through it. Pretty good, pretty good. That's very nice. Umlauts are there, double quotes are there, very nice. So you look, um, they wrote it in the model card that the OCR is quite good. And we just saw that, we can vouch for it. OCR is definitely uh, supreme, I would say. Okay, now let's try to corner the model. So I am I have given it this image and I'm asking the model. All these three girls have proposed me. Who should I select? If you were me, which one would you select? I'm just trying to make sure model gives me the response. So while model generates the response, what, what I have done here, let's go up. I think I must have given it extra. Uh, okay, yeah, let me put, fix it. So I fix the typo and mean while model generates, you guys can also uh, chime in with your choice. So there you go. So it says selecting someone to propose is to personal decision that depends on your feeling. Here are some factors you might consider chemistry and then it is also okay to take your time and get to know them better before making a final decision. So you see my model is very, very clever model is not going to select that is good okay maybe i'll just change the prompt a bit and then still make final attempt to tease the model so i'm asking it that all these three girls have proposed you you must select one let's see should be fun and model is thinking otherwise it was quite quick but for this one it has there you go. It's great that you have received proposal from three different individuals. And then, so it has just flipped it on me. Take your time to get to know each person better and trust your instinct. So you see, I think model has passed the test. Model is not really um, taking it for granted. And model has really given me a very, very fine response. Okay, now in the next one, it is a bit of a hard one. So I have given it this image where... There's a tabular format that I'm asking it from the image. Tell me which journal has the highest monthly circulation. So not only it is doing OCR, it is doing the analysis of it. It says US pharmacist with a circulation of 104, which is totally correct. And it is monthly. How good is that? Very, very nice. So how about if I say buy dash monthly, then we will see if it changes its response or not. Let's run it. Let's check it out. 
there you go so bi-monthly it is a drug topics this is insane really good stuff so i think model is just throwing it out of the park really next up i have given it this chart and i am asking the model that from this chart summarize what this chart is saying now it says the chart compares the performance of rtx 5090 and this graphic card in two games how good is that black with this and cyberpunk it specifically focuses on 4k dlaa learning anti-aliasing how good is that and then you see 4096 achieves 24 frames per second it has even read that oh my goodness this is insane you see because it was written here at the top right and it is not that clear it is blurry but still it was able to do that and then it is also telling us suggest that rtx 5090 provides a significant performance boost over the rtx 4090 in these games when using 4k native dla this is insane totally insane really really sublime now the good thing about this model is that it also does video understanding you can either provide it frames or you could in form of images of course or you could provide it um, a video in mp4 format but i will be doing another video on video understanding separately so stay tuned and the installation instructions will be similar so i will be just showing you the video understanding in the next video but all in all i think for image tasks this is one of the best models in the last one week i would say let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching